Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley says the allegations by the former Director of Intelligence at the Strategic Services Agency, the SSA, Carlton Denny, should be condemned by every citizen of Trinidad and Tobago. On Monday at a United National Congress meeting held at the DB High School, Mr. Denny claimed he was removed from the agency after refusing to fire all people of East Indian descent in that company. At a media conference, Dr. Rowley denied the allegations. Marie Hull reports. I am the person that they asked to fire all the East Indians in the SNC, and I told them, no, I am not doing that. The statements by former Director of Intelligence at the Strategic Services Agency, Carlton Denny, have been strongly condemned by Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley. Dr. Rowley said it was necessary for him to respond as the statements threatened the very fabric of the society of Trinidad and Tobago. This is a categorical lie and it is the most dangerous statement to be made by any officer, no matter how aggrieved he or she is, to make to the population of Trinidad and Tobago that the Prime Minister of the country would have issued such an instruction and that he, in righteous indignation, had to refuse to carry out that illegal action and that is why he was dismissed from the SSA. Reading a secret file from the National Security System, Dr. Rowley shared contents of a report sent to the Permanent Secretary in 2008 on Mr. Denny's professional conduct. They highlighted acts of unacceptable forms of behavior, task avoidance and insubordination and disruptive activity. When an officer who claims on a platform to be the head of the security agency, a major arm of the agency, and claims that he was instructed by me to take action against a body of citizens based on their race. And for that, he was fired for not carrying out those instructions. I think it warrants me convincing the population that there's evidence to prove that that person is dangerous, that statement is a lie, and the person who put him on a platform is also dangerous to the people of Trinidad and Tobago. At Tuesday's media conference, Dr. Rowley also referred to a document which stated that Mr. Denny and another employee were allegedly responsible for the removal of sensitive equipment from the silver room at the SSA Piaco facility on September 12, 2012. The Prime Minister said no further action will be taken on the allegations. Marie Hall for TDT News.